creep. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Whenever you're creeping with, I do appreciate you guys. How the heck are you, crazy creeps? We are back. Got the trusty umbrella. Eh, it's a little overcast. Been kind of sprinkling off and on. But you know that's not going to stop me from doing a little creeping. And interestingly enough, how my mind works, kind of going down the rabbit hole and, you know, documenting things and looking things up, doing a lot of research. Got my mind thinking again this morning. If you guys saw the last vlog or you didn't, uh, it was about Homer Simpson's real life brother, Herbert Powell, who was a war uh, hero here in Oregon. Did a whole vlog about it. Um, but it got me thinking about, you know, Homer Simpson, The Simpsons, if you guys know me or you don't. I'm a huge Simpsons fan. And there's been a lot of tie-ins to things over the years. And one that I kind of started thinking of going down the rabbit hole of information is how much Homer Simpson has to correlate with baseball. So we are starting out here at the main city park in Gresham, which hosts the Little League World Series, by the way, in 2012, as you can see up on the sign. But yeah, Homer Simpson, a lot of ties to baseball. And it got me thinking about the different episodes. One of my favorite episodes is when Burns wants to you know, really succeed as a baseball owner and creates the ultimate team, including Don Manning League, Daryl Strawberry, Steve Sachs, Jose Canseco. I mean, just a ton of folks that made that episode so rem memorable and funny. And so it got me thinking about Homer Simpson, how he was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame, all those episodes as him as the mascot, the connection between the Isotopes baseball team and the actual Isotopes, you know, team from the from the Simpsons itself. Um, and I kind of wanted to, to go down memory lane and I thought to myself, did I or didn't I <laughs> remember Homer Simpson night? That's right, the Portland Beavers played back when it was PG Park downtown. I'll insert some pictures now of the stadium. It's now where the Timbers play and the Thorns, which are our soccer teams. But back in 2007, when the Beavers were still, well, they started to come back to Portland and were doing a whole bunch of promotions to get people back to the field, did a promotional thing with Homer Simpson himself and at the time the Simpsons movie was coming out and they decided why not team Homer up with the Beavers since Matt Groening being from here and everything had that tie as well. And I thought, is that something that I just imagined or did that really happen? I don't remember really reading it or seeing any articles. It's just been kind of one of those things that has it been a myth? Has it been something that really happened? Is it something that I just thought of in my own head. So I'm gonna head to the library next and see if we can actually get on the old microfiche or even just Google and see if we can find any information from Homer Simpson night. I know, kind of a long-winded intro. And then also just kind of pepper in the rest of the day. So stay tuned. Homer Simpson baseball night and some other things. Yeah, did it happen? I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if we can find some more info on it. So stay tuned. Not only was the World Series here in 2012, this is a little placard here, tributing to the Gresham Little League, but also look at this. This whole field here, we showed this before, but this was actually devoted to Sylvester Johnson, 1900 to 1985, 46 years, devoted, organized, organized, or, organized baseball the last major league pitcher to strike out Babe Ruth donated by the Clifford family in 2015 yeah I was like showing that last guy to strike out Babe Ruth we are here at the library Gresham library because I'm gonna see if I can use the microfiche system which is 
kind of old school way of documenting, keeping things track other than Google and on the internet. They've scanned a bunch of old Oregonian, which is our major newspaper here, and newspaper articles, clips, things like that, onto a system where I can get online with my library card here and manually look through. So I'm gonna see if I can find any pictures of that night. All right, we are here inside and the good folks here are always so good to me. I was able to find the Outlook, so not the Oregonian, but hopefully there'll be some info. And they put it in the machine for me and now I'm ready to just kind of scroll through and you can kind of go as fast or as slow as you want. So we're just gonna kind of, whoop, don't wanna go that way. We're just gonna go real slow, probably to the sports section. And, oh, look at this. This is interesting right off the bat. The uh, jail out in Troutdale talking about McMinimum's going to purchase the little jail that's out there. Again, this is July through September 07. All right, so it didn't take me long. This is too cool. So look at this right from the bat. And no pun intended, but we got Portland Beavers. 2007 this is the 4th through the 8th so the week after the actual opening in 07 as you can see they've got all the different events we got the John Castano bottlehead night and a couple other things so I'm guessing there's probably another flyer for the Homer Simpson night as well but that's pretty darn cool to see that with the old school beavers logo on there too heck yeah <laughs> all right so about oh good 15 20 minutes in i actually found official documentation so there you have it it was not just you know something that was kind of repeated or reported wrong throughout the years it became something that <laughs> i think they call it the mandela effect but there you go saturday the 21st 705 Homer Simpson Night, presented by PDX49 versus the Tucson Signwinders, sponsored by Fred Myers. That's really small print. Uh, a couple different radio stations there. And it also says, oh my gosh, what does it say? Oh, presented by Zenners. So we're going to see if we can actually find any pictures. Uh, of that night as well but there you have it the official first documentation that I could find of that so cool that that actually happened <laughs> I was gonna say I've been looking and looking and looking and I was gonna say go but we actually found it nice all right still at the library and one of the Librarians told me that if I actually go to their website, I can narrow it down. Um, of course, this is a different source, the Oregonian. But check this out. I actually found another article. So they played Tucson that night, and they lost pretty bad, 3-0. But it says, Stalwart fans embrace Homer with the loss. And then it actually has the article right here. Right there it states, Saturday, July 21st, Homer Simpson night, Beavers vs. Las Vegas, 705. Iconic television hero Homer Simpson makes a special, special visit to PG Park for Homer Simpson night, presented by Fox 49, as the Beavers continue their series against Las Vegas. The first 2,000 fans on Saturday receive a t-shirt, courtesy of Volkswagen. Homer Simpson will throw out the first pitch on a Fred Meyer Saturday Presented by 98-7 KUPL. So I'm pretty stoked to find that actual little clipping of the night. Um, or, you know, them kind of just showing folks that that was going to happen. That little little tiny article, It's all, all I needed was to really just verify that night. Next stop will be the Gresham Post Office here. And I've been wanting to... Needing to anyway, stop in here and grab a stamp, a couple stamps, because I got some few letters I want to mail out. And I want to mail out one to a really good viewer. You guys might know her already or seen her in the comment section, but that's Shemay. And I really wanted to 
send her out something special just for, you know, always supporting the channel and everything like that. So we're gonna go inside the post office. Then I gotta go back across the street because there was some mailboxes over there, but they recently moved them. But yeah, we're gonna hop in here real quick, grab a couple stamps and get Shimei her letter. All right, got our stamps. And I always like seeing my friend here at the post office, but check it out. She's got Art Man too, amongst all of her other little. Oh, you got the Kool Aid Man too. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I always like seeing. That. <laughs> it's funny because I always get you when I come here, and then I always get to see Bart Man too. That's so awesome. All right. Without giving away too much info here, got our stamp, got the Purple Heart stamp, and this is definitely going to go out today. So, Shemay, watch your mailbox. You got something from the Creeper Cupid. All right. Got the mailbox here, and all right, off to the next stop. All right, started raining on me, but we just made it into the downtown area on Main Street, and I've been noticing these bikes, which in Portland, usually if someone passes while they're on a bike, um, they set up these little memorials here. So I'm hoping that's not the case because it does look like it's a little kid bike. But somebody else told me they are seeing these all over Portland and they're not quite sure if they're actually the ghost bike, which is kind of a memorial for folks that have passed, or if it's like an art piece. But nonetheless, hopefully that it's not a memorial and that it's just kind of an art piece, but a lot of folks will place these around town. It's kind of honoring folks in the past so hopefully that's not not the case and there's also these beautiful sculptures kind of sprinkled in through the downtown area as well with the little froggies and ducks here it's kind of their weather but yeah I'm hoping these ghost bikes are just somebody's like art pieces and not you know mourning someone pretty interesting though so we're kind of on the simpsons thing today as well which kind of is always incorporated in the vlog if you guys know me but <laughs> hopped into bricks and mini figs and check this out i'm actually going to be purchasing another little figure for the collection but they went ahead and made their own and the guys that work here designed this as well. Maggie there, good job with the pacifier and the bow, dude. You nailed it. That's cool. Oh, you made it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Tim made these ones, I made those guys. Very cool. Yeah, I like these a lot. Man, that's detailed too. You got the sacks. Homer's got the rod. <laughs> yeah, I like it. And these are kind of like self-made. I mean, there's no book on how to like put these mm -hmm. together, you guys. No, it's, it's a form of building called a mini land scale. Oh. Right? As opposed to standard, but like classic minifigs. You oh, basically wow. do like a brick built design that kind of has a standard sort of like, you know, the head is a square and like the standard dimensions to it. So cool. Yeah, they recently did an episode where they kind of went into like a quote unquote like Roblox kind of Lego <laughs> style episode. It was cool. Nice. Yeah, very cool. Thanks for sharing this, you guys. All right. And picked up Hibbert for the collection which is hilarious because he's got the x-ray homer's brain there with the crayon stuck in it but yeah how about a woey pop <laughs> all right and like clockwork i need some more coffee i think i'm gonna go with the seattle's best breakfast this time going with the little pods make sure it's not decaf i've messed up before <laughs> bought decaf normally i go with this donut shop one but it's a little pricier $7.98 when the Seattle Best is only $5.49. So a couple different kinds. We got the house blend, medium roast is the one I went with. And they've also got a breakfast, which is kind of light. Um, so I think I'll go with the medium. All right. Every time I come here, people are like, you got to get the Winco pizza. This looks good. It's like a combo. And then, veget oh, vegetarian. Um, I need some meat. So probably the pepperoni looks good. Yeah. Mmm, pizza. Is that Homer? Anything else for you? Nope, that'll be great. Thank you. All right, that is really good right now. 
I have to say for two bucks, that's a win too. A win co. <laughs> yeah, it's good pizza. All right, success. Got our coffee and had me a little maple bar. Had the pizza nice and full. Oh yeah. I swear, for two bucks, that's a good pie. And a big slice too, so. Winco Pizza, you got my approval. <laughs> I'm not hard to please when it comes with pizza, but for two bucks, that's a pretty good deal. That's gonna do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That'll dial you into being a creeper today. You can also ring that bell that way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And if you did enjoy this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Till next time, creeper out for now. Peace.